hi everyone welcome back to the channel in this video i am going to show you how to crochet this wavy scarf which is perfect for spring let's get started the things you will need are any type of yarn that is size one this is yarn art size one it is acrylic then you will need scissors you will need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook it can be any type of 3.5 millimeter hook and then you will need a yarn needle which you will use for weaving in the ends and you will need a tape measure to measure everything out so the first thing you want to do is take your hook i have my 3.5 millimeter here and then take the first color of the yarn you want to use i'm taking my darkest color and now with this yarn we are going to create a slip knot the way you make a slip knot is wrap your yarn around your finger like that, make an X shape, and then take the string behind, make a loop with it, and just pull. This is the easiest way to make a slip knot. Just like you make a normal knot, that's how I make my slip knots. And I think it's the easiest way, and I always use it in my projects. Now we're going to chain 44 chains, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44. This will be our chain and now we're just gonna measure it real quick. Turns out that our chain is 23 centimeters long. Now you have to count. This is 1, 2, three and that's the fourth stitch in this fourth stitch we're gonna make a double crochet a u.s double crochet so make three loops on your hook grab the yarn pull through the first two now you have two loops grab the yarn and pull through both this first chain three counts as a double crochet now you're gonna make eight more double crochets in the next eight stitches so this is the first one The second one, three, four, five double crochets, six, seven, and this is the last one and the eighth double crochet. Now, from the next three chains, we're going to make only one double crochet. So yarn over, go to the next stitch, grab the yarn, and pull through. Now you have three loops on your hook, grab the yarn, pull through the first two. Don't finish it. Yarn over, go to the next stitch, insert the hook, grab the yarn and pull through. Grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops. Now yarn over again, go to the next stitch, grab the yarn and pull through, grab the yarn, pull through the first two. Now you have four loops on your hook. You're gonna grab the yarn and go through all of them. That's one stitch right there. In the next stitch, you're gonna make a double crochet. And then you're gonna make seven more double crochets in the next seven stitches. So in the next stitch, make one double crochet and then we have the third double crochet the fourth double crochet the fifth double crochet then the sixth double crochet that's seven right here and the last one the eighth double crochet now in this next stitch we're going to make three double crochets in the same exact stitch so make one double crochet in that stitch and then in the same stitch make one more double crochet 
and we're not done yet, make the third one in the same stitch. So three double crochets in one stitch. Now make eight consecutive double crochets in the next eight stitches. One double crochet, two double crochets, that's the third, four double crochets, five double crochets, six double crochets, that is seven, and the final one, eight double crochets. Now, as you can see, our project is already wavy and we're going to repeat what we did here in the beginning where we did a double crochet three together. So insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull through and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, go to the next stitch, grab the yarn and pull through, grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops. Then yarn over again, go to the third stitch, grab the yarn and pull through, grab the yarn, pull through the first two. Now you have four loops on your hook, grab the yarn and pull through all. Now we're going to make eight double crochets in the next eight stitches. So this is one, two, three, four double crochets, five, six, seven, eight. And in this last stitch, we're going to make two double crochets in the same stitch. Now make one double crochet in that stitch and then the second one in the same exact stitch. And this is the first row. This is what it looks like. It's so wavy. As you can see, we finished this row, but I want to change the color. So I'm just going to undo this last step right here. Now I have two loops on my hook and I'm going to take the next color, which for me is the light green. And I'm just going to insert it with my hook as a new loop, just like this. Another way you can do this is just make a slip knot like this, and then take your project, put your hook inside the just made slip knot, and use it as your loop. Use it to finish your double crochet, just like this. Now chain three, and turn your work in this way. This chain three counts as a double crochet, so don't forget that. Now we're just gonna hide the tails and this is the first stitch right next to the lighter green. We're gonna hide the tails and make a double crochet in there, which means that we will be increasing since we already have a double crochet or the chain three stitch. Now go through that loop, make sure you have both loops in, grab the yarn and make a double crochet. Now we're going to drop the darker green tail and continue hiding only this one because we will need this one later on. And now make eight more double crochets in the next eight stitches. That's one, this is the second, three double crochets. Now I'm going to drop this tail off too because I'm going to weave it in later. Now this is the fourth double crochet. Five, six, seven double crochets and eight double crochets. After those, we're going to make a decrease. So from three stitches, we're going to get one stitch. So make a double crochet. Don't finish it. 
and then yarn over, go to the next stitch, start a double crochet, and don't finish it either. Then go to the next stitch, grab the yarn, and pull through. Now you have four loops on your hook. Grab the yarn and pull through all. Now yarn over, and in this next stitch, we are going to make a double crochet. Then we have to make seven more double crochets in the next seven stitches. So we have eight double crochets in total. This is my fourth stitch. This is five, six double crochets, seven, and then eight double crochets. In this next stitch, we are going to increase. So we're going to put three double crochets into one stitch. This is one. In the same exact stitch, make a second double crochet. And in the same stitch, make the third double crochet. Now in the next stitch, make one double crochet. Make seven more double crochets. This is the second. This is the third. This is four double crochets. This is five, six, and then seven and eight. Next, we are going to make a double crochet three together. So we're going to decrease. So yarn over, start a double crochet and don't finish it. Go to the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, grab the yarn, pull through two, don't finish it. And then yarn over, insert the hook, grab the yarn, grab the yarn and pull through two. And now you have four loops on your hook, grab the yarn and pull through all. Now we're going to make eight double crochets just like we were doing until now. That's one, two, three, oops, three, four double crochets, five, six, seven, and eight. In this last stitch, we're going to increase. So we're going to put one double crochet and then another one in the same exact stitch. I'm not going to finish it in this color because I'm going to change color again. But this is what our project looks like so far. It's wavy and it should have 41 stitches each row. It looks really good so far. The 41 stitches includes the chain 3 that we made in the beginning. Now I'm taking my next color, which is this one, and making a slip knot because I'm going to insert it in my project next. So just take your project, go through that loop, Oops, I took the short tail. Always make sure to get the long tail here, the one that's attached to the yarn, and just pull through. Now chain three and turn your project this way. Now this is the first stitch that we're going to work on. And this is the first double crochet. So we're going to make another double crochet in that first stitch. Go through the loop there. I'm really trying to hide both of these tails, so just go under them and just make your first double crochet of the row. Actually, it's the second, counting the chain three. And I'll drop the lighter green tail and keep the darker one because we want to hide this one. Now you're going to make eight more double crochets. That's one. And then two, three double crochets. Now I'm going to drop this one too because I'm going to do the remaining work of weaving it with needles. Now make your fourth double crochet. This is the fourth. And now five double crochets, six seven and eight. Now 
we're going to make a double crochet three decrease. So go in that first stitch, make a double crochet but don't finish it, go into the second stitch, do the same, and then into the third stitch, insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull through, grab the yarn and pull through two, and now you have four loops on your hook, grab the yarn and pull through all. Now what you're gonna do is make eight double crochets and then the increase, eight double crochets and then the decrease, and then just continue the row just like you were doing in the previous rows. Because it's a repeat row, it's the same thing over again, and I'm gonna meet you when I finish my row. This is my last stitch and I'm going to put two double crochets in the same stitch. So find the chain three, find the third chain there and just make two double crochets. Don't finish the stitch if you're gonna change color again like me. You should have 41 stitches including the chain three. Now I'm gonna take my last color which is yellow and I'm going to make a slip knot with it. Just like we did in the previous rows, we're going to take our project and insert the new color as a new loop. So take that new loop, adjust it a little bit and insert it. Adjust again and now you will make a chain three. So chain one, two, three and turn your work this way. Now what you don't want to forget to do is take the first color to kind of hide it and put it up there with the other tails and now we're just going to go under them. This is the first stitch right after the yellow. So we're going to go under all these tails when we work. So put them over your hook and just make your double crochet like normal. Then you can drop the green tails and keep just the yellow one and we are going to continue with our row making eight more double crochets right now and just continuing with the same pattern that we've been doing until now in the other rows. I will meet you when I finish my row. And in this last stitch we're going to make an increase of two so we're going to put two double crochets in that third chain of the chain three. This is the second double crochet and I finished it in yellow because I am going to make another row in yellow. So I'm chaining three in the same color. This is what our project looks like. So in this last row I'm just going to repeat the pattern. So make one double crochet in that first stitch then make eight double crochets, a decrease right here, and then make eight more double crochets, make an increase of three here, eight double crochets, a decrease, eight double crochets, and finally in the last stitch make two double crochets. I will meet you when I finish my row. Now that I'm done with my yellow row, I'm not gonna finish it in yellow. I'm going to take the first color that we worked with, as you can see, that we hid in here and I'm going to finish the last double crochet of the row with this new color. And then we are going to continue the row with this one, so chain three, turn your work this way. And now while hiding the yellow tail, we are going to make our first double crochet in the first chain. So make the double crochet and now don't drop the yellow tail like I did keep hiding it until the very end of the row because you will need it later on when you work with yellow again. Make eight more double crochets and just repeat the whole process like we were doing until now. I will finish the row and meet you again. I'm at my last stitch now and I'm going to finish this stitch in the color of the second row, so the lighter green. Just finish that stitch and then chain three and turn. One thing to notice about this pattern is that it can get really messy in the back but one thing you can do about that is make a border around your scarf but in this tutorial we're not going to include that so let's just continue. Turn your work, 
and now continue the pattern as we were doing it so in this first stitch make a double crochet then make eight more double crochets and just repeat the pattern since this is a repeat row you're going to repeat this row until you get the length of the scarf that you want it to be so i'm gonna finish my rows and then meet you when i end my scarf one thing that i've noticed during the making of this scarf is that with this dark green row after the two yellow rows i will need to hide the yellow tail this is because i'm doing two rows with the same color so just keep that in mind if you're doing the same pattern as me or using the same exact colors if you're using two rows of the same yarn you need to hide the tail after that this doesn't apply to the other rows it only applies to the row that is above the two rows in yellow so let's just continue with the making of our row now I'm doing the last double crochets before my row ends so this is another double crochet I'm gonna do one more in this stitch and then I will do my double crochet increase in the third chain of the chain three that we made so make the last double crochet for the scarf and since we don't have to change color anymore we're just going to finish it in the same color chain one and then cut the yarn this is our scarf so far now I am going to cut my yarn here and then I am going to pull with my hook and tighten that up and now what we need to do since we worked with many colors is cut the other colors too I'm going to leave the tails a bit long so that I can weave them in and secure them correctly that is one more yarn gone these two are done now we are going to find the yellow one and cut that as well leave the tail a little bit longer cut it and now all we have left is the lighter green which we are going to cut now our scarf is almost almost done this is what your scarf will look like once you weave in all the ends it will look beautiful and this is what the scarf looks like when it's on I absolutely love it I made it shorter to go with my favorite jackets but you can make it longer just by adding more rows to your project I love the scarf you can play around with it it looks really good in all forms and it looks really special just can't wait to wear this scarf out I really hope that you enjoyed this video and actually learned something from it if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and if you make this project tag us at yarny handmade on Instagram I would love to see your projects thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time bye